Hey guys, welcome to Everyday Jewish Mom. Passover is coming up, and so I wanted to talk with you a bit about how our family celebrates Passover. Since my husband and I have been married, and since we've had little ones, we've done several different things when it comes to Passover seders. We have gone to other people's houses for Seder. I hosted Seder at our house one year when my first one was little. The next year that just sounded way too overwhelming. So we didn't do a Seder on the first night and for two years in a row we attended a second night Seder at our temple. And then last year I went back to hosting my own Seder. My kids have gotten older and so I can handle a little bit more now. I will be posting a video about how to plan a Seder so that it's not too stressful and it works with having little ones and keeping them happy and keeping you happy and so you can invite all of the people that you want. Um, because we have our temple family now, I now have more people who I'm able to invite to a Seder and it's been really lovely to be able to do that. When it comes to observing Passover in our home, um, I definitely use this as a chance to clean out our cupboards and to clean out my refrigerator. However, I do not clean all the chametz out of our house. Chametz out of our house. Chametz is the term for all of the foods that we're not allowed to eat during Passover. So traditionally, that's five grains. It's wheat, spelt, barley, oats, and rye. I got them. And um, it's been expanded to include corn and rice and beans and legumes. So there's those on top of it. Um, what I do is I make a kosher for Passover shelf in my pantry. I clear out some of the more obvious things that we shouldn't have around during Passover. It's important to me to kind of get things out of sight. Otherwise, I will eat them by accident. If I leave crackers around, my kids are gonna eat them. So it's really important to me to kind of get things out of sight, out of mind. So I will maybe load them into a box and put them in the basement or something. But I do not fully get them out of the house. I also don't change out all of our condiments or change our dishes over or anything like that. I really just stick to you know, we're not going to eat these things during these days. There's actually been some change in thinking about kidney oat these days. Uh, so some people are deciding to eat corn and rice and things during Passover. My rule is that I try not to do it myself personally and also with my kids. However, if as the week rolls on, if I feel like my kids are getting really hungry or if it's just not working, um, I will probably pull out some like gluten-free pasta. There are ones that they make with rice flour now or quinoa or things that don't have wheat. So it's not breaking that rule, but it stays in the kidney oat family. I just need to know that my kids are getting fed. Um, one of the other ways that we help survive Passover is by making it special. And I think that that stays true for all Jewish holidays. The bigger, the better, the more special. And one of the ways we do that is with Passover candy. We love Passover candy. And I try and keep those candies special just for Passover. I know that every family practices Jewish holidays differently. And it's so important to me that I feel comfortable and confident in my own religious practice. So that's why I made this video to talk about how we do it in our house. I would love to hear in the comments below how you celebrate Passover in your house, what rules you adhere to, and how you bend them or how you don't bend them, but how you keep your whole family happy during this holiday. I know that it's, you know, a challenge of a holiday. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'll have plenty more Passover videos coming out and uh, check out what else I've got going on.